Here? Okay. Everybody read the dream? The start with Belinda's? Wait, it's a long one. I know. No, no, Belinda's is the uh, short one. Oh, the short one. I heard this long. The other one's longer. <laughs> long and longer. Okay, where would you start? Here, I want to get an expert, <laughs> another expert. Uh, oh. Eldar. I know the red. Okay, take a moment. <laughs> what about the last, what's the last line? Oh, you get the other moment? When she takes out the bow, and the word changes meaning so profoundly. Should we ask her? You would like to know what? Her feelings of it. When the she state did. of mind of the feelings of it? Yeah. Right, right. Come on. Is that where you would start or is that where you would end? You <laughs> want to start at the conclusion? Uh, we go to where we think the problem will most fully develop and show its meaning. Mm. whether it's the beginning or the end. Okay, but you still want to go, you know, and map it out and go through each of the steps. Okay. Okay. Since we're after meaning, where would you go? Okay, I agree with him then. Okay, okay, okay. What do you think? Yeah. Your choice. Uh, go okay. for the meaning? Did you offer your opinion? Um, yes, I found it interesting that something so simple. That's where you go. Okay. Go ahead and read the whole thing? Yes, please. Okay. <clears throat> I was taking words and either taking a vowel out or putting one in to change the word, and therefore the meaning of the word. As I did this, I found it interesting that something so simple as putting in and taking out a vowel uh, of a word could change its meaning so profoundly. from very good experts. Mm -hmm. They offer the ch chance for you to talk about that moment when you saw it so profoundly. What did it do to you? Wait a minute. It was... Hold um, it, hold it. <laughs> okay. Um, it was like... Um, Like a new discovery. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Good. Um, it was like, why hadn't I seen this before? Like, why hadn't I seen it before? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um... It seemed like almost child's play, like, yeah, of course, you know, you, you, you take a vowel out, of course it's going to change the meaning of the word. Um, but this time... It was, it made such a deep impact. Yeah, yeah. I would like a couple of more words on the impact. Uh, we have... Th 
by three statements, really. So, could you add, it was, what is it like to be discovering at that moment in the dream? I wish I was, I felt like I had done this sooner, like I had this, this insight sooner. Um, like, but it was an insight, right? Yes, it was an insight. And, and sure, you want to know how come you hadn't seen it, surely. Yeah. But what was that insight and the discovering like? What did it do to you? It. it I'll uh, help you. I'll help you. It was right. boring. No. Grand, it, it opened me up, like, oh. to discovery, like. Um, like a wow type of uh, um, mindset. Mind. Set. Like a wow mindset. Like. In what way, mind? Um. It's like um like seeing words for the first time. Um. And um, understanding their meaning for the first time, um, like like I had never seen these words before, and like I'm rediscovering them, or um, seeing them for the first time. Yeah, yeah, that's important, isn't it? Like right, 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 as if for the first time, or actually for the first time. Mm-hmm. But even though I had, like, it was like I was singing for the first time, I knew what the words were. Yeah. Um, Which makes it a little weird. Uh, (laughs) uh, Could you use the word ugly? No, it was very beautiful. It was very beautiful. It was, yeah. Really? Very Mm -hmm. beautiful. Come on. Uh, Like what? (sighs) Now look here. You've had many experiences in life of beauty. Where would you put this experience? At the top. At the top. Right? Mm-hmm. Hey, in the same way you've had many experiences of using the mind and discovering things. Mm-hmm. Where would you put this one? Top. Right? Mm-hmm. Hey, you've had insights before. Mm-hmm. Where would you put this one? Top. Yeah. Uh, uh, curious that you're adding the word beauty to it. What kind of beauty was it, would you say? It's like, um, like finding gold. Um, or f- or discover Final, finally or finding final, finding finding gold finding gold. See, I've never had that experience. So you have to tell me what's that like. It's like um, like like you go on a quest and you're looking for something of significance and importance, and you find it, and you're just like. Wow! wow. Yes. Yeah, that wow comes in yes. here, doesn't mm-hmm. it? Yeah. Among the wows, where would you put this? Hi. On the top. Right. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, by chance, do you remember the uh, word? Um, I just remember one word. It okay. was head. H-E-A-D. Head. And then I remember I was taking the A out and making heed, H-E-D. Make it a, a out? Yeah, making it H-E-D. H-E-D. D. Or putting in, or leaving in the A and taking out the E and putting, uh, making it hat, H-A-D. So what word do you, did you say it became? It was all the words. It was all of the words. Yeah. Yeah. In what way? Come on. Like... Yeah, it's like... Huh? It had effect on all of the words. Yes, it had effect on all the, all the words, yes. Oh. That sure makes it an interesting, different kind of experience, doesn't it? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. 
Uh, isn't it interesting that you use the word meaning for this? Mm-hmm. Right? Talk mm-hmm. about that. Sure. Add to that. Well, it's because when you look up the word head in the dictionary, it has a definition. Mm-hmm. And when you look up the word heed, it has a definition. And when you look up the word hat, it has a definition. And the whole thing, head, has a definition. Mm-hmm. They're all defined differently. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. See, you're looking into the power of words, aren't you? Yes. Right. Yes, and if you leave something as simple as an A out of head, yeah. it no longer means head. No longer means head. Yes. That's right. Right. Yeah. It's a doorway into what? Logos. Logos. This is an experience of logos, isn't it? Yes. And how powerful the logos is. Power. Right. Power. Right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. And it opened up these highest levels in your past experience. Of course, you might have reached many of these singularly, but mm-hmm. this one brought them all together. Hmm. Wow. So, uh, <clears throat> uh, well, what do you make of this? Curious word, logos. Oh. Huh? Um, it brings joy to my heart. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> um, when I used words before in my life, it's like it's not like they didn't have an impact. Mm-hmm. But yet, they didn't have as much of an impact as they do now. Yeah, yeah. It's like they're more um, meaningful. They have more power. They have more depth. Mm-hmm, 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 mm-hmm. And you could also put all the, these other words around it. Oh, yes. Yes, yes. I mean, just with words, you can change the world almost, it seems like, like, oh. a so- like Socrates did. Oh. But you have to do some so, writing. Uh, where do you think the logos comes from? The self. Oh. Then you got an insight into? The self. The intelligibility of the The self, self, which is the logos. (laughs) (laughs) Thank you. Pretty nice? Yeah, I like it. Yeah. Hmm. Interesting. And you're into what kind of reading? Uh, Reflecting? Um, yeah. I'm reading b- different things and reflecting on different things, yes. Mm. Uh, it was uh, the Symposium in the Republic. Oh. Uh, wh- which or what translation are you using for the Symposium? Um, I like to use my dad's. Which one? My dad's. Right. Yeah. That's the Because it difference. has the self in it. That has the self in it. Yes. Great. Yeah. Great. Thank you. Right. Mm-hmm. Fun? Good. Thank you. Here. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Can I have it? Yes. questions. Take a look. How would you go into it? What would you look for? How would you open the door into the meaning of the dream?
Did you pass up copies? Mm -hmm. There are some more next to my laptop over there. the string. I would go to um, because I wanted to get in number way. number of paragraph paragraph one because I wanted to get a new weapon anyway I ended up with the same weapon okay <coughs> in the second part um, that has several parts but I well you could go to the number ten or eleven or <clears throat> ten I'm flying, so it could be five, ten or eleven. Okay. Whatever, whatever your point of exploring the dream, you have to keep in mind <coughs> that there are two parts, very different. Why? Why? What's going on? Should they be two separate and distinct dreams? One has nothing to do with the other, or? If not, what? Julie, how would you go? Anywhere, just tell me where you'd... Well, in four he says, I'm moving further and further away from the war zone now. Pardon me? In four he says, I'm moving further and further away from the war zone hmm? now. Number? Number four. Okay. And I find that curious. Got it. Number four. One. Where would you go? Excuse me? Where would you go to look at the dream and open it up? Where would I go? Um, to open it up. Um, sorry, I wouldn't, I wouldn't know how to 
Exactly. See, like, a, a, a dream is a story, see? It's like Sherlock Holmes. Mm -hmm. And you're looking at the thing, you've got to figure out what the hell is going on there, see? Uh, where does it spin? What's, why is it appearing that way? Is there some struggle going on? Like, see, you've got to go through this. You, you would... Yeah, I want to go to four, too. It seems to okay, change. Okay, four. Where, and where he notices that people are friendly and harmless. Okay, good, good. Yeah, he feels safe there. Pardon me? He feels safe there. The house. Uh, I would... I think everything changes at uh, six. Oh, he thinks it changes at six. Yeah. Which number? Number six. Six. For what reason? Because that's the point at which he becomes lucid in the dream. Okay. Oh, yeah. All right. All right. Well, I, I think it's, it starts when he gets to the, the house. The house. Yes, because number. It's in number four here. Okay. It's All a right. lovely house. Okay. Okay. Okay, yeah, that's right. You said that. Excuse me. Oh. Sure. Look, what theme is running through the entire thing? In both parts, it's the same problem. Only one shows itself up in one way, and then another way, but it's the same problem. How things are working. Yeah. And what do you discover about how things are working? In the first part, they're not working well, and in the second part, they're working well. And he discovers how he himself... Hold it. Hold it. Make sure you're right about that. Okay. I mean, if it's... If the second part is going well, uh, why do you say it's going well? So you have to have a reason. Because he's having fun? No, that's not enough. Mm -hmm. uh, he's trying to have mastery over this weapon in, in one part, and then he's trying to have mastery over flying in another part. <coughs> and uh, it's going okay. There's something similar going on. Yeah. And the other one is flying really well, and then at some point he's... And finally, he, yeah, and with the weapon, mm -hmm. he finally gets it clear from the cloak and all of that, but still, there's a problem. It turns into a shotgun. And, mm -hmm. Ah, ah, look here. Then, if that's, a, if that's a, a theme that runs through this, where would you say it most clearly shows itself? Mm. And on one line. I'm going to Okay, watch now. <coughs> Very often the dream can show the problem and the, and the language it uses about itself. Mm -hmm. All right, let me do it again. Many times you look for a quote that applies to the very problem we're looking at and we're looking to understand. You can say, ah, that's the goal. Does he reach it? What's the goal? Take the second part. What's the goal in that flying dream? Aldo, let's go. In the flying? What is the goal um, in the second part of the dream? I think it's mastery of the flying. Trying to master how to fly. Okay. All right. Say it again. Uh, to master how to fly. Mastery. Say, so, um, do me a favor. Would you read uh, number six? 
Then I, then I realize that I'm dreaming, and I smile as I realize it. And I think, what should I do? And then I think, fly, of course. What do you think of that? Um, what should I do mm. now that I can fly? What should I do? Well, now that I am aware that I'm dreaming. There's a question here. How important is that question? Well, I, I just uh, realized that I'm that I'm dreaming, and now I have all this freedom. That's so I'm asking myself, what, what should I do? What should with I this? do? Good. How yeah. do you and do, how do you answer that in the dream? Fly. Come on. I just say fly. <laughs> what do you think of your answer? Well, I like it. It's um, of course. That's not the answer. Mm, what do I think of it? I mean, it's, it's simple. The question, the question is not, uh, how do I feel about flying, but what should I do? Should. What should I do now that I am a flying thing? Right, what should I do with this? What's it like in the dream when you have that question? Go ahead. Well, there's a there's a a, a great sense of uh, freedom and possibilities that are uh, that among, have opened themselves up. I to like me. that. Among the possibilities, answer this question. Well, I, I did. I mean, that's. I think it. That, right. That's my answer. Like, that's, okay. I thought it was a good answer. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What should I do? Are you, are you okay? Are you picking on the word "should"? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And also, what? Yeah, yeah. What should I do now that I can fly? Now that I'm flying. Well, j just to just to clarify, it's not. Now that I can fly, it's now that I'm lucid dreaming. Mm -hmm. Then I realize I'm dreaming, I smile as I realize it, and I think, what should I do? Right. right. I'm thinking this is what most people do when they first live doing this lucid dreaming. But whatever. I want to do it because it's awesome. <laughs> Did that tell you what you should do? Or the state of mind you're in when you're flying? Where is your concern? Is it here? And what the experience is like? Would you agree we can quote a lot of things in your dream to describe what the experience is like? Can we not? Yeah. After we finish that, would that answer this question? Well, the question is, um, like, when I ask myself that question, it's not, it's not really a should question. It's just a, a manner of speaking that I use, which is like, oh, what should I do now? It's kind of like um, picking uh, something from a buffet. I like that. But that's a question you often ask that, now that you think about it, how do you answer it in, every, in your everyday world? How do I answer it? Do you? No. Well, I mean, it would be better if I asked, what do I want to do? What's the difference between want and should? Thank you. I mean, it's, it's, it's really what I am asking myself, but I'm using this weird language. Um, what do I want to do? It expresses your wants. Right. And should Among the wants, should there be a should? No. Oh, why not? <laughs> because should implies, um, you know, some kind of predetermined uh, 
law yes, or something. Uh, goal. Goal. Goal? That you judge to be how when you use the word should. Good the, and meaningful? See, the dream is using your everyday language. Mm -hmm. We want to see whether in some way you answer it because all of this is describing your experience. Uh, That's enough. Hey, in the first four parts, what should what should you be doing? What should I be doing? In the first four parts. Well, I mean, like, who's asking? Like, I mean, if I ask myself. Yeah. <laughs> I what should... evidence is there in the dream that you're doing what you should be doing? Well, I think I should get the hell out of there, is what I think I should do. Okay, could you find that line, please? Oh, that's not there. What? <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. What do you make of that? You're in a war. Uh, is there a goal that you have? Or are you in the activity? This is an activity. Are you in an activity in the first four parts, the combat? Uh, yes or no? Yeah, I am. Oh, good, good. I'm good. in some kind of. So over here, there's combat, right? Uh, and there's a lot of things you're saying about con the conflict. Yeah. 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 Uh, answer that question in terms of these two. Well, in, in the first in the first part, I I should be fighting a war according to some predetermined I don't know schedule. <laughs> I don't know what it is. But is that in the dream? Is what in the dream? Well, there's any predisposed reason why you're fighting? Oh. Um, Would you agree this combat shows difficulties? Yeah. Right? Again and again and again? Yeah. There isn't really um, a, re a reason. I, I, I'm just there. Yeah, like, there's no reason. Just, uh, is there a reason for flying? <laughs> well, flying... Yeah, because I think it's awesome. Pardon me, is that a reason or the experience you're having flying? Well... <laughs> well, I, I want to fly. That's... I, I know that. Hey, watch. I'll give you a star for that somewhere around here. Okay, this is star. Good. Two of them. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> Do you answer your question in the dream? Would you agree there's a problem in combat and acting it out? Yeah. Right. And the goal is nowhere. Is there a goal in the flying? Well, the goal is to fly. But there isn't a goal for the flying. There's no place to go. Is there some place to go? That's true. The goal is just flying. Oh. Master you. Thank flying. you. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, um, uh, so you can't answer that then. There's no goal. There's no goal here either. It's a very difficult question to answer now. It's, now it's become a very difficult question to answer now that we've pointed out this. Oh, oh, want, oh, oh what, does that should, do, what does that do to you? Well, it, it mixes in this weird, like, um, uh, duty or uh, obligation of what I should be doing. So it's, it's, not, it's not about me as much as 
if it was want. If it was want, what do I want to do? That would be easy and I could answer that. But this is higher. This is among the wants. Which one do should you be doing? Wants is plural. This, I want that, I want this, I want that. I, I, didn't, I didn't get that point. Well, the question is how do you use the idea of should, that's all. And how does it differ from want? Want can be directed at any number of things. What do I want? Yeah. Yeah. No. Uh, how about what I should do? Okay. Should is more yeah. specific. Yeah. 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 But it, it also has a sense of burden. Yeah. Uh, should is a burden. Yeah. Oh, talk about that. Come on. That, see, that's a state of mind. Okay. So here you are. It's a burden, more. It's like uh, obligation and... I don't know the word. Um, what's that mean? What is it like? No, what's it like? Um, it's, a, it's a hassle. It's, mm -hmm. a, it's a pain in the neck. <laughs> 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 yeah, more. Come on. It's uh How does it make you feel? It's a drag. Drag yeah, more, that's better. <laughs> it makes me feel really um tired and Tired and deflated and yeah, and deflated. Deflated. Um, also, a, a bit like overwhelmed. Overwhelmed. That's good. Yeah. And uh, say so you're familiar with this state, aren't you? Yeah. 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 What role is it playing in your life? <laughs> Come on, what's playing? Come it's, uh, I mean, it's, uh, it's, a, it's a really big problem. I mean, it's a problem. <laughs> it's, it's, it's very, um, it's, it's like any meaningful goal that I have. Yeah. Once it becomes, then it becomes this. That's right. right. And it's very hard to... Um, is, is that right? Like, any goal, if it becomes a should, it's a downer. Yep. Right? Nailed it. Right? Yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I bet you've had that your whole life. Yeah. What am I going to ask you? Where does it go? Yeah. Care to look? Yeah, sure. Yeah, go ahead. I mean, whenever oh. I'm... Give me an early one. How old are you? There's so many, it's like... Huh. Twenty five? <laughs> Um, playing. It's always connected with playing. Of course. Right? You were playing and something happened. Go ahead. It's a burden. It's obligation. Come on. There you are. You're playing. Come on. You're a kid. You're playing. <laughs> What happened? I, I have trouble holding on to the state. Uh, that's okay. I don't mind. Well, just tell me about what happened when you were playing as a kid. What happened when I was playing? There you were.
a lot of different things are coming to mind. I don't know. Nothing. So, just answer a question. Okay. So, when you were a kid and really having fun playing, what happened to you? Always happens. By chance, did you happen to have parents? Yeah. No kidding. Yeah. I'll be darned. Uh, put them in the picture. There you are, having fun, playing, and... Uh, you got a good one. What was it? Okay, well, I was, um, I eight, was... Eight? No, like, six. Six. That's good. Okay. What happened? Uh, I was playing in the... We lived in, the, in, like, this community accommodation, and I was playing with the other kids in the hallway... And we were, we was, we were sliding down these um, these railings on the stairs, um, and it was really fun. Go ahead. We were just sliding down, and um, my dad just saw me doing that, and then he he came and he grabbed me and took me took me to the to the room to give me a lecture. Oh, and uh, uh, chemistry? <laughs> no. Let me try again. Uh, uh, electromagnetic? Uh, <laughs> logic. Close. But what did uh, you give me a lecture on? It, it was on um, how it's... I shouldn't be doing that. Why is that? Because I'm... It's very dangerous, and I'm very fragile. Oh, you're fragile. That's it. Yeah. Yeah, fragile, right? He could, yeah, yeah. Should be doing. And he he was like um, explaining to me how fragile I was, and he kind of he took my my hand into his hands, and he was like, "You see, this is very soft, very." Yeah. And he was like touching my hand and saying, "Yeah, yeah, that's I'm, a good test, that isn't I'm fragile. it? Isn't that a good test?" Just show your kid that they're fragile? I think it's terrible. What? It's a terrible t thing to do. No, no. Is it a good test? I don't care if it's terrible. Why would it be a test? I don't know. I don't know. It, tell me. Do you think that's a good test of whether or not someone is fragile or not? Oh, by doing this? <laughs> no. No. <laughs> then what's he doing? He's just... What is he really objecting to? My playing. Oh. My, my state of mind. Of oh, why playing. might you have been in a finish it? A very high, very playful, very um, free, free state free. of mind. Yeah. Very playful. It was so much fun. Mm. Going very fast. And yeah. Uh, by the way, did he play that on you again later in life? Well, when, whenever I was uh, having a lot of fun yeah. at home, playing yeah. on the computer games, yeah. my parents would tell me, get out, go outside and play. And then if I stay outside and play for a long time, they're like, get back inside, you're out too long. What's he at war against? Playing. Yeah, 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he's telling you what you should be doing. What do you think of that? I mean, you shouldn't be doing that because you're fragile, and he proved it to you. Hmm. I believed him, but... Yeah. No. So, he, or, see, he's, this is teaching. This is teaching a kid but how, I, how to be and how not to be, isn't it? Yeah, it is. But I don't really see the, that state of mind here. What about it? I don't see that state of mind ah, here. I don't care about that, but just about this for a moment. Okay. Fine. Yeah, he's teaching me that I'm... It's a bad thing to play. It's yeah. very dangerous. Yeah. I think he even told me that I could die or something like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, it was it was kind of dangerous because there was a railing or whatever, but... A kind of dangerous? I mean, we were careful. <laughs> 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 we, we're, we're six-year-olds. We're not like one-year-olds. Yeah. We know, we know yeah. to be yeah. careful. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Say, what was it like doing what he wanted you to do? Mundane. Hmm? Mundane. Mundane? Yeah, and boring. Boring. Did you make it into an obligation? A hassle? <laughs> I can't think of anything that he made me do. It's kind of like... I, I can't think of something that he made me do, except when... Well, what did he turn play into? Well, w when I try to play now, I get this thing this. I have to deal with. Yeah. See, they're connected. And I realize that even when I do yeah. start playing, yeah. I get really serious. Yeah, yeah. And <laughs> serious like an obligation? Yeah, like yeah. it's... I'm trying to... I think that's here, yeah, yeah. Obligation, yeah. Yeah, does it slowly it, fit all of these things? Did yeah, it your does. Father, did your father make play into this for you? I think so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I guess he's making you a social being, huh? A social being? Yeah, I see how polite. Uh. Being, right? You really know how to nail it. <laughs> <laughs> a social being. Yeah, more like a, a social clone or mm. something. Social. Yeah. Uh, uh. Worker bee. Mm. But but it's not, I mean, there is a good kind of social, which is playful, but that is not it. Yeah, yeah. What, what did you think of that? Do you have to do it on the side or not? That's, what? that's not allowed. Only he can do that. Only he's allowed to do that. It's not allowed. Yeah. Right. Being serious playfully is not allowed. Say, by the way, are you into... Uh, Being serious playfully. Uh, philosophy? Yeah. Uh, Parmenides? Yeah. What does your father think of your involvement in Parmenides, pure to tone? He's never said a word about it, actually. I've told, he knows, but... What do you mean? He's never... How important is it to you? I mean, it's... What? The, the most important thing. And he... How's he treating that most important thing that you have an involvement in? There? Like it doesn't exist. Oh, oh. What is he showing you?
that he doesn't value what's the most important thing to me. And if you dare do it playfully, you're going to go back to that state before he squashed it. Right. <clears throat> yeah, curious, isn't it? Yeah. Well, I was just thinking that in the dream, no. I'm when I'm flying, instead of being playful with it, and yeah. I'm kind of criticizing myself about how well I'm doing and... Criticizing yourself about how well you're doing. What are you turning it into? Uh, no, uh, this. Right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Hey, um, how, how did your mother go along with this? After all, uh, she was your mother. She saw this going on. What did she do? What did she do? She's she's always in that. She's always there. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. She's always there. Right. That's mom. Like like my dad my dad has some outlets where he he plays. Yeah. And he's he, it's kind of like He's the only one that's allowed to play. Oh, he's the only one allowed. Yeah. Oh, what is that? What is that called? If he's the only one allowed to do it in the family. Tyranny. What? Tyranny. <laughs> More. Uh, I, I imagine he likes competition. Oh. <laughs> what? No, he hates competition. <laughs> oh, I was wrong again. Actually, he would get really angry if I beat him at table tennis. <laughs> and even though I was very young, like he wouldn't let his son beat him at table tennis. <laughs> <laughs> it, 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 even back then, I was like shocked how yeah. how angry he was. There's a war going on at home. <laughs> Over play. Competition. Now, I'm the kind of guy who would never call him being jealous. Mm. He's extremely jealous. No. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> what does this reflection do for you? Well, it, 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 um, it highlights the absence of playing mm -hmm. in my family and say so it's also rather important that one way of playing occasionally is when you get into this curious game called love that is a kind of playing isn't it openness freedom are, are you you mean love in general or what Pardon? do you mean love in general or what do you what are you referring to? Well, there's some, have you noticed there's some men and women that get together occasionally? Yeah. <laughs> Might they get into this? Yeah. 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 Actually, yeah, that's, that's a big uh, hurdle for me when meeting new people. Oh. I get kind of, uh, kind yeah, of well, stiff. You have good training. <laughs> you have to appreciate your training. Yeah. And maybe wonder how to get the hell out of it, right? And that's what we're looking at. We're, yeah, we're, this is we're looking at your father. He's your teacher. He's not your father. See, he can be fatherly in many beautiful ways, mm. but not in this way. No. That's where his game plays. Yeah, he, he taught me very well. What, what? He taught me very well, yeah. Well, he spent a good deal of time doing it. And he, and he has a good partner in, yeah. crime, in crime as well. Yeah. But you know how long it can take you to get out of it? How long? Right now. 
It's up to you, buddy. It's up to you, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Yeah. It's kind of like a, a leap. Yeah, of course, there are always leaps. <laughs> right, David? Uh, yeah. It's yeah. always a leap. I'm here everywhere. <laughs> Can I share something? Just curiosity. Hold it, hold it, hold it. Sure. Leap. Yes. Would you say a synonym is incommensurable? Well, uh, no. Okay. No, because so I, what that did would you mean, mean so, no, no. no. See, if it were incommensurable, there would never be a leap. Okay. See, so, All right, fine. But by leap, that, that's when I go back and ask him, what does he mean by yeah, leap? Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. Because he's saying the power of this game he thinks is going to make it difficult for him to step out of it. And that's we're, my point, And right? David correctly said, eh, it's just a leap. Okay. Everyone has to do it. Absolutely. It's his chance, and then he has to see what happens if he can't get out of it, and he needs another kind of talk. Mm. Well, okay. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Pleasure. Good, good, good show, good show, good show. So, in between understanding and knowledge, Pardon? so in between understanding and knowledge, Ooh, where, where, this is, this is understanding no, and this it. is knowledge. Oh, no, because no, he said a leap. Can you tell me what you meant by a leap? Uh, it's, it's pretty much what Pia said. It's, uh, I mean, you, the play is kind of, it's right there, in a way. I just have to kind of jump into it. But that's, but that's a leap. But that's, that's a bit scary for me. Okay. Okay. Forget that. Okay. So here's, the, here's my question then. So, so by your definition then, a leap is going from one place and being able to get to another. It's like skydiving. Okay. That's not what I thought. Got it. Good, good, good.